If you've ever wondered how to turn basic shapes into works of art, you're in the right place. Stick around as we uncover the secret to creating geometric patterns in Adobe Illustrator. Jump straight into Illustrator and start a new document. The document can be any size, but if you do want to follow along with the tutorial exactly, the document size I'm using is 1920 by 1080 pixels. And I've also set up the five following color swatches so they're accessible within the swatches panel. If you want to set up those color swatches, simply just pause the video now and use the following hex values. We've all that said and done the first thing we need to do is create our individual shapes and the way we're going to do this is by using a grid and the reason we work with a grid when creating the pattern is because it gives us more precision and ensures that each shape is consistent with each other to select the grid head over to the line segment tool and simply click to open the flyout menu and then you want to select the rectangular grid tool once you've selected it just single click onto the artboard and this will bring up the rectangular grid tool options and what we want to do is we want to create a grid which is a thousand by a thousand because we want 12 individual squares we want to create 11 horizontal dividers and 11 vertical dividers once you've entered those settings simply press ok and then just vertically and horizontally center the grid within the artboard we now need to split the grid into nine individual segments so make sure smart guides are enabled by going to view and then selecting smart guides then using the rectangle tool start off in the top left hand corner hold down the shift key and then simply Simply drag out a square which is perfectly 4 by 4 and then we can just bump up the stroke weight to something like 4 just so we can see that a little bit more clearly you then want to repeat the process until you have nine individual squares Once all nine squares are in place, we can now use each one of those squares as a container for our symbol. And then all nine of those symbols will make up the geometric pattern. So starting with the first shape, I'm going to select the ellipse tool, which is shortcut L on the keyboard. And then I'm going to position the cursor directly in the center of the square. And then I'm going to hold down the shift and alt key. And then I'm going to drag an ellipse into the first four squares. And then I'm going to do the same again, starting from the center, holding down the alt and shift key and then i'm going to make the next ellipse the same width and height as the container square for the next shape i'm going to create a half circle now there's a couple of ways you can do this but i find it easier with the arc tool which can be found under the line segment menu and then starting from the center of the second square simply click and drag out an arc and a good tip is if you use the up and down arrow keys you can change the radius and if you select the f shortcut on the keyboard you can flip from one side to the other so creating the first half and then simply just create the second half on the third shape i'm going to simply select the line segment tool and i'm just going to draw a diagonal line from one side of the square to the other now don't worry about coloring all these in i'll show you how to color these in later but what you want to do is you want to build up the grid with your shapes so essentially you end up with nine individual shapes which we can color in later so go ahead and create the next six shapes Once you've created all your shapes, you want to select the original grid layer and just hit the delete key, which will leave just the containing squares and each one of our shapes. And then we're going to start coloring this in using the live paint tool. Before we start playing with the paint tool, we need to make a selection around our nine shapes and then just group those together by going to object group. Once everything is grouped together, under the shape builder flyout menu, you should see the live paint bucket or you can use the shortcut K on the keyboard. And then you want to select one of your colors from the color group. And then once you've selected one of the color swatches, you'll see on the cursor, you have three individual swatches which follows you around and you can use the left and right right arrow keys on the keyboard which will flip between all the colors in your color group and then what you want to do is you just want to start filling the shapes with your individual colors once all the shapes have been filled 
go to object, live paint, and then expand. Once everything's been expanded, simply select the group and go to object, ungroup, and then using the direct selection tool, which is shortcut A on the keyboard, just select one of the square containers and then go to select same stroke color and then hit the delete key. And what that'll do is it'll just select everything of that stroke color and allow you to remove it quickly. The next thing we need to do in preparation of creating the geometric pattern is make sure each one of our nine shapes are on its own layer. So if I just flip over to the layers window, you can see that we've just got one group. So if we go to object, ungroup, and then go to object, ungroup again, we'll see all the individual shapes that make up our overall pattern. And what you want to do is you want to select each shape and group it together so it's on its own layer. And you want to do that for each one. For this next part, you need to download a third third party script. This script just allows us to take those items and randomly place them into another grid. I'll put a link in the description, but you want to head over to Alexandra's GitHub page and then go to the code button and then select download zip. If you scroll down onto the page, the script that we are looking for is the replace item script, which gives you an overview of what it is. It also gives you instructions on where to place this script in Illustrator. So download the script. Once you're back in Illustrator and you've installed the script, make a selection around all nine shapes and go to Object, Group, and then just move these over to the side. And then the next thing you want to do is select the Rectangle tool, click anywhere within the artboard, and then you want to create a rectangle or a square for whatever size you want the pattern to be. So I'm going to use a size of 800 pixels wide and 1000 pixels tall. Then I'm just going to vertically and horizontally center that within the artboard. With the rectangle still selected, you want to go to Object Path and then select the Split into Grid option. And with the number of rows and columns, you want to make sure that this equals a whole number. So for example, if I put 12 number of rows, we get 83.333. And if we use the up and down arrow keys, what we can do is keep toggling up or down until we get a whole number. And then we can do the same with the columns. So enter a number and then just make sure that the width and height of each square within the row and column is set to a whole number. And we can also check the preview option just to see what that looks like. And to be fair, we could probably make the width and height a little bit bigger. So let's go up to make maybe 100 and then press OK. Next, head over to the layers window and then select the group of nine shapes and right click and then go to arrange, bring to front and just make sure that this group of shapes is above the grid squares and then make a selection around both all nine shapes and all the rows and columns within your grid. Then we want to go to file scripts and then select the replace item script and the options you want to use are all in the group, random and make sure you copy the width and height. And again, you can experiment with these because you can get some different effects. Once you've entered those options, click OK. And what that'll do is it'll randomly place each one of these individual shapes into one of those squares. If you're not happy with some of the placements or the orientation of some of the shapes, what you can do is you can simply select the shape and just start rotating some. As I said earlier, because we created the pattern using the actual grid, everything should line up perfectly. Once you're happy, make a select around everything and then go to object group and then if you wanted to tweak the colors we can go to edit edit colors and then we can use the recolor artwork or the generative recolor option in this case I'm going to use the recolor artwork option and then from there I'm going to select the advanced options go over to the edit tab and then I'm just going to select one of the colors and I'm going to move it until I get a different color variation that I'm happy with once you're happy simply press ok to confirm the changes and there you have it. Creating stunning geometric patterns in Adobe Illustrator is no longer a mystery. I hope you enjoyed unraveling the secret to creating geometric patterns. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow designers, and don't forget to subscribe for more design related tutorials. Until next time, I'll see you all in the next one.